Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Before we begin, I would like to let the committee and everyone watching at home that parental discretion is advised. I would also like to remind everyone that on our oversight committee, we provide oversight into all parts of the federal government, including their Department of Justice and their, their willingness to prosecute and their unwillingness to prosecute, and whether it's politically motivated. Um, I would also like to say that when evidence and proof of a crime is presented, no prosecution should be denied, no matter who the person is. Uh, to the whistleblowers today, I thank both of you for your courage to come to the committee today and your commitment to, to truth. Uh, I have great respect for it, so thank you. I would like to talk with you both about Hunter Biden and his tax write-offs with his law firm, Owasco. I would like to ask uh, Mr. Ziegler, when did you start your investigation and your testimony? It was November 2018. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. During your testimony with the, House, with the House Ways and Means Committee, you stated that through bank records, you identified Hunter Biden was paying prostitutes related to a potential prostitution ring. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yes, that's correct. I've also reviewed that those same bank reports, commonly referred to as SARS, suspicious activity reports, and I'm very troubled by them. We read thousands of them in the Treasury. This particular excerpt from a SARS report talks about human trafficking uh, and in regards to Hunter Biden and Owasco and, and payments he was making. What's even more troubling to me is that the Department of Justice has brought no charges against Hunter Biden that will vindicate the rights of these women who are clearly victims under the law. Um, I would like to talk about in your prior testimony, you stated that the prosecutorial team was investigating violations of the Mann Act. Is that correct, Mr. Ziegler? That is correct. Regarding the Mann Act, if a person is transported across state lines for sexual activity, such as pros prostitution, that could be a violation of a federal law. Is that correct? Uh, I actually recently looked at the federal law regarding Mann Act, and I believe that that is correct, but I would refer you to the DOJ manual. Thank you. I would like to uh, present this to the committee. This is showing Hunter Biden paying for a victim's United flight from L.A. to Dulles. This was a, I believe this is a violation of the Mann Act. This is Hunter Biden's, this is his uh, proof that he bought the ticket. He bought it for this woman right here. Um, she, he flew her from Los Angeles to Washington on June 14th, flew her back to uh, Los Angeles, California on June 15th of 2018. And I would like to um, point out that if he was purchasing her a plane ticket for sex and traveling across state lines, do you believe that to be a violation of the Mann Act, Mr. Ziegler? So I can talk to specifically what's in my, tran or what's in my transcript regarding the Mann Act. So. I know we were compiling the information together. Yes, but Mr. Ziegler, travel, as, as the law states, by the, by the code of the law, it states traveling, paying someone to go across state lines is, is prostitution. It's a violation of the Mann Act. Let me just move on just one more, one more second here. Uh, so when, her, when Hunter Biden paid for this woman to do this with him, to travel across state lines from California to Washington, D.C., on June 15th, this is a violation of the Mann Act. This was prostitution. Let me continue. Did Hunter Biden also use his company, Owasco PC, to pay prostitutes? Can you hold on one second? Mm, chairman? Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll give you this additional okay. time back. Thank you. That was So regarding Mann Act violations, what we can do is, given by the statute, uh, we can turn those over to the House Ways and Means Committee, and then we can they, they can decide to vote to turn them over to you. 
regarding Mann Act. Yep, thank you, Mr. Ziegler. Um, so talking about Hunter Biden using his company, Awasco PC, to pay prostitutes, this is also a sp suspicious activity report showing that victim one, the, the woman that was paid for prostitution, that traveled from California to Washington, D.C., paid for by Hunter Biden. This is a, an excerpt from a SARS report that we've read in the Treasury, and I think you, you all have looked at these too, showing that victim one was supposedly an employee of Owasco. Um, but, but I would like to point out, this is not really what most paralegals do for law firms. Um, and, and it's very serious that Hunter Biden was paying this woman through his law firm and then writing it off as business tax exemptions. Most, most people write off, uh, you know, their tax, write off things for their taxes through their businesses like a meal or, uh, say, office supplies. Um, but can you confirm for me that Hunter Biden had written off payments to prostitutes through his law firm, Owasco? I appreciate the question given by the statute. Uh, I'm limited in my testimony today, and I, I respectfully would need to turn those records over to the House Ways and Means Committee. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ziegler. One, one, last, one last question. Uh, you referred to one of the assistants as West Coast assistant. I believe this is the West Coast assistant. Could you agree with that? So I can tell you that there were deductions for what we believe to be escorts, and then that $10,000 golf club membership Yes, that was not a golf club membership. That was for a sex club payment. That was for a sex club payment. Um, payments such as this through from, from Hunter Biden to prostitutes. Um, also, Mr. Shapley. Come on. M Mr. Chairman, um, we're at 1 minute and 53 seconds over. As long as Ms. Ocasio-Cortez can get equal time, I, she can I, keep going. I, I will uh, let, let uh, Ms. Green wrap up. Uh, Five seconds, and thank then uh, I'll give Mr. Mafume additional time. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Shapley, you, you started an investigation into Hunter Biden, codenamed Sportsman, which opened in November of 2018. Um, it, it was an offshoot of an investigation the IRS was conducting into a foreign-based amateur online pornography platform. Um, this this is evidence uh, Mr. Mr. of Mr. of Hunter Mr. Biden Mr. making sex. Hey, excuse me, this is my time. Making okay. pornography. Should we be displaying Mr. this, Mr. Chairman, in, in the committee? Get a lady's time's expired. And